Welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name is Grant. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I received a Kickstarter copy of a very cool looking game. Alexander and I actually played this about 18 months ago, give or take, and did a preview video for the Kickstarter. We also did a written interview uh, with the uh, designer, Saul Sanchez. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to mess the name up. Sorry. Uh, Saul Sanchez Banelos. So I apologize, Saul. Um, this is actually uh, published by Malinchi Games. They are a Mexican publisher, which I think is very cool. And I remember when I spoke with Saul, there's not a, there is a big interest and a big wargaming and board gaming community in Spain they just don't, or not in Spain, I'm sorry, in Mexico, they just don't have necessarily a lot of publishers. So his Malinchi game started, and I think this was their first project. And frankly, it, it's pretty cool. The name of the game is Patria Libre, and it's subtitled The Struggle for Mexican Independence. And here you can see Malinchi games. Great art. Really like the look of this game. It's high quality. Uh, very, very nice. We'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. What you will notice about this once we open the box and go through things, everything is dual language. So here on the left, you have a Spanish version. Um, you can see Espanol. And then here on the right, you have English. They tried to cater to... Uh, both. Uh, obviously, the United States is a bigger market, and they wanted to have the opportunity to have their game published in English. Um, but very cool. I, I, I think all the components, like the player aids, the rule books, there's a separate rule book that's in Spanish and English. Uh, the other cool thing that I would say, and I'll show you a little bit of a close-up. We'll go through these components. The components are just utterly fantastic. You can see the board is really nice, great art, nice layout, good colors. Um, this is the popularity board. We'll talk about that a little bit when I unbox it. Then you have the different leaders that you are playing as. You're either playing as the revolutionaries who are trying to gain independence for Mexico, or you're playing as the royalists who are trying to uh, hang on to the Spanish uh overlords, basically, right? Um, so you've got two different sides. You can play the game. It's two to one to four players. There is a solo bot. Uh, great pieces as well. You can see there are infantry, artillery, and then uh, cavalry as well. There are cards, and they are circular, which I thought was very, very cool and unique. Uh, and then you also have these very cool counters, um, that you'll use. Just a really interesting, unique game that I thought was very fun and interesting. We enjoyed playing it uh, and had a good time with it. Now, I mentioned to you that this was a Kickstarter copy. So this is the extra Kickstarter content. So this would be the retail version of the game that you're going to get. Probably just the box and its contents. Uh, Saul also very kindly provided me with the extra, extra Kickstarter content. I'm going to go ahead and open a really nice little box. Gives a detailed rundown of what is included in here. Once again, Espanol and English. I'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, you'll notice there's some different markers that you can use on the popularity board. Uh, and I think these are uh, forts, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Also, metal money. These are fantastic. Uh, look really, really good. Money is a big part of the game. You need money to fund uh, your operations and attacks. The other thing that I think is pretty cool, they provide, uh, once again, remember I said it was a two to four or one to four player game. These are the different uh, Royalist Army uh, boxes, Insurgent Army boxes. Now, why did that, does that one look different? No, it's just folded different. There's the uh, Royalist. But you, you have these four different faction colored boxes. You're going to fold these, right? Bend them, fold them, and that becomes a card box. Very nicely done. I think they look really great. 
They have a very great color scheme. These seem very Mexican to me. Um, and, and I like that. I like the fact that it's trying to immerse you deeply into uh, the culture and the times and the subject. I think that's really great. Um, there's also like a little sheet inside that talks about the extra co uh, Kickstarter content. But those are the extras. Unsure whether you can buy that. But I I'm going to tell you, they're very, very nice. Um, and I know this Kickstarter took two times on Kickstarter to fund. I know the first one I backed... Uh, but it didn't make the goal. I think they reworked some things, redid some art, uh, and then put it up again, and ultimately it, it did back. Um, this also is an extra character that you can play as. You can play as basically the Napoleonic Confederation. Here is a Bonaparte, uh, you, you can see, and then a couple of other uh, leaders from the French and the French Revolution. So kind of another cool little Kickstarter uh, piece of content. So I'm going to push those off to the side. Let's go ahead and get focused on the game. And I'm going to tell you, for, for the first time, first game that they published, this is a really nice product. Uh, very sturdy, great art, really looks good. It feels good. I, I, I remember the player, uh, the prototype. It played well. Um, very impressive. So nice work, Malinchi Games. Here is the rule book. And, and once again, you can see there's an English version here. And then there's a Spanish version. I'm going to go ahead and put the Spanish version off to the side. I don't read or speak Spanish. Um, but a game about the New Spain's War of Independence by Saul Sanchez. So uh, it kind of talks about the history of the conflict. Really enjoyed that. I was leafing through this. It's got some terminology so that you can understand what you need to do in the game. There's a look at the components again, a more close-up look. We'll, we'll get a look at each one of those. The rule book has a lot of great color pages and examples. Really gives a good uh, understanding of what the different pieces are and how to play the game. And the game is not overly complex, but it does have some very interesting elements um, because you're, it, it's basically area control, but then you're also fighting over popularity uh, so that the people will support your efforts. And, and that was a very cool part of the game. There's a look at the popularity board off to the side of the main board. There's a popularity board right there. Great looking rule book. There are, I think there are 20 pages. Yeah, 19 pages plus the, the back. Here's the solitaire mode right there. They call it the solitary mode. Um, but yeah, nice rule book, nicely laid out. Here are the player aids. Sorry, I'm having some trouble getting them. They're a little thinner. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised by this, but they probably had to uh, make do with what they had. They're not terrible. They're just, I think they're fairly uh, flimsy. Once again, in Spanish and English, uh, and, and there's only one of those. So that's a little bit disappointing. If it's a two to four player game, you would have liked to have seen four of these, but you can take this and go ahead and just copy it uh, on a color copier and you'll be good to go. Uh, yeah, it gives you all the elements. So there's a nice player aid. The next thing we're gonna take a look at are the markers and some of the components. You have some of the leaders and their standees. These are the different markers. These are going to, you're going to use these as your actions. And, and as you can see, there's one action on the back and then there's one action on the front. I don't, I think that's March. Um, this one I, I think is politicking. But you're going to use this side and then you're going to flip it over so that later in the turn, you can use these other actions. I, I thought that was a really cool thing. We really enjoyed that. And there are four of these. And you'll notice they're all in four different colors. So they're, these are based on the factions. But here's things like attack, uh, raise money tax. Um, I, I don't remember. Bribe, maybe. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. But very unique elements, how you're going to play those. 
Here are, we don't need these because we have the cool Kickstarter, but really nice looking money tokens. Those look exactly like the coins. They're just cardboard. So here's all the different pieces. These are popularity markers. So it looks like a great package. There are two full uh, boards of these front and back. And as you can see, the different colors for the different factions. Um, I think these two are the Royalists, and then these two are the Insurgents. Uh, insurgents. So blue and green are Royalists. It looks like orange and red. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. I, I had a big drink of uh, soda earlier, and I'm hiccuping. I'm embarrassed. But really nice-looking components. Going to show you the best part, and, and this is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to... And I'm going to show you the back, too, because I thought what they did was very, very unique. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the back of the board first. And I just hit the camera like an idiot. So on the back is basically the Me uh, Mexican Declaration of Independence, right? So you can Acta de Independencia del Imperio Mexicano. So it's it's in Spanish but kind of a cool historical document. You can even see the signatures here. I thought that was a really nice touch and it's on the back of the board. So it doesn't offer any gaming benefit, but you know, Saul is proud of his country and their independence. And I, I thought that was a really, really nice touch. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the board out and I really can't get it all in the shot. I've got too much stuff here. So I'm, I'm trying to do my best. But yeah, the, the board is a map of Mexico. And this occurred in the 18, what years? It's like 1830s or 1820s. I'm drawing a blank now. Um, but, you, but you can see here is Mexico proper, Yucatan Peninsula here. There is a Spain insert because there's elements there that you're trying to... Uh, manipulate and gain them on your side and you can see there's ocean boxes where you're crossing over and landing at these different ports very well marked the ports are very well marked you can see the anchor symbols here uh, the different territories once again this is an area control style game and you're actually going to score based on what region is going to score that turn so every turn things can be different so these darker brown ones, that's one region, Texas, Nueva Santander, and Sonora Durango. If you control a majority of those, you're going to control the region. And if that comes up as scoring, you're going to score the victory points. Here's another red region, Zacatecas, Nueva Galicia, and Guanajuato and Valladolid. Those are four different little regions. Then you have these little tan ones. These are a little lighter brown. And then you have Central America and uh, the United, United States, Estados Unidos. New Orleans is even Nueva Orleans is shown on the map. But that, that you're going to fight over control of these when they're scoring. Once that's scored, you're going to move more towards these other regions. So it kind of becomes one of those games where you're going back and forth. These areas up here, these red areas, are where you're going to draw cards from. And you might be saying, well, those are circular. Well, yeah, the, the cards that are included in the game are very unique, and they are circular. So I'm going to go ahead and open these. I pre-opened them. But you can see they are... Sorry, my battery just is telling me I'm, I'm going low. But these are circular. They, they are by different periods. There's ones, twos, threes, etc., uh, they're fairly durable. I'm going to go ahead and turn them over so you can see them. But they have different things that are going to happen, different rewards. They're going to tell you what, what events are happening and then what regions are going to score. You can also acquire these to then add to your hand and play. So very unique. Um, really enjoyed the card element. I thought that was a great part of the game. Very fun uh, and interesting. Here's some more markers. These are typically, here's some more money markers, but these are popularity markers. I'll show you the popularity board. I, I wanted to show you the characters next, and there's like five of these. 
So you can end up playing one or several of them, kind of just different personalities. And you can see they have different abilities. They have these cards are coded. Uh, that means they're going to have access to those and can use those. So you're going to want to pay attention to those once these cards come out. You're going to want to get the ones that you can use. But here you can see there's several different characters that you're going to have the ability to play. Very nice art, very well laid out. Um, they're going to help you uh, learn the game and play the game, but also really play a serious role in how the game works. Remember, the other one that I showed you was Napoleon um, or the Napoleon Napoleonic Confederation. So that's also a playable character, which I, I thought was pretty neat. So there's more than you're going to be able to play at any given time, but you have some choices. I always think that's great. Uh, let, let's take a look. These are the revolutionary pieces. I'm going to open these up. Very well done. So these are your infantry. They look like, uh, you know, little meeples. So you're going to place these out on the board, and that's how many soldiers you have in those areas. You've also got artillery. Um, let me open these up. Very nice looking. So here's the, that's the way they're supposed to be. That side up. Yeah, I can't get it to focus. That's the cannon. They're not tanks. Right, they're not upside down with a with a weak uh, barrel. That's their right side up. So this represents cannons, uh, and then you also have um, cavalry, which are very very cool. So think of these units as an infantry is worth one power, a cavalry is worth two power, and a cannon is worth three power. Now, those are the insurgent colors. You also have the royalist colors. So when you're playing the four-player game, uh, those are the, the colors that you're going to see on the board. There are standees for the leaders. Remember, I showed you the leaders uh, here on the punch boards. So let's go ahead and punch those out. Uh, no, not a huge fan of standees. I'd rather just lay them down. Um and these always are, are very tight, and they end up ultimately, I think, destroying. But you would want to fit those on there and then leave them out. So, yeah, these are kind of a nice, or you can just lay them, lay them flat. So that's an example of a couple of those leader standees. Very well done. Here at the bottom is that popularity board that I wanted to show you. This is kind of the starting area in the middle, and you can either go up in popularity in these three different areas. I think this one uh, is government. This one is the church. I can't remember. I think this is combat and war. Um, but if you go up, you're going to claim these rewards that are going to help you. You can also go down and you'll notice you'll lose a coin or you'll lose uh, command points or you won't be able to move. Th those kind of things. So a very cool... Um, Kind of a sideshow to the game, but that's a way to score victory points as well. There's multiple ways to score victory points, uh, and, and that's one of the, I think, one of the cool things about the game. It, it kind of keeps it uh, light, interesting, and unique. But there you have it. That is a look at Patria Libre. I'm very much looking forward to playing the final copy. Remember, we played a prototype copy of this, and I really thought, frankly, that it was fantastic as a prototype copy, but this just looks really well produced. It looks great. Um, love the pieces, love the attention to detail, love the colors and the feel. Very thematic. Very excited about this game. I want to try to play this four players because we played it two players. I'd like to see the different uh, dynamic there. So there you have it, Patria Libre, Libre, The Struggle for Mexican Independence from Malinche Games. Great looking product. Uh, very excited to play it. Uh, we'll get a review out and uh, share with you. But you can also see our preview video to get a better feel for the game and, and what it's about. So thank you so much for watching. I want to thank Malinche Games for providing me a copy of the game. 
uh, and also for producing such a fantastic looking game on a unique topic. So I've been Grant for the Player's Aid.